This video is brought to you by Rupens. For traditional Indian cuisine, visit rupens.com. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a butternut squash quiche. Boy, that's a tongue twister. First thing you want to do is chop butternut squash. Of course, I always buy the entire one, but you can always buy pre-chopped butternut squash from the store. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees. And when the oven is ready, take a small cookie sheet, apply some salt and oil to the butternut squash, and bake it for 35 minutes. While that's happening, I'm using a store-bought pie crust. A store-bought pie crust is a lot more easier than making your own base for quiche. We are not Martha Stewart, so try to take help from the store. Once that's done, place a piece of parchment paper and add some beans. We are going to pre-bake this pie crust so that the dough starts to cook. You want to cook this for about 12 minutes or so and you'll start seeing the top of the pie crust turn golden brown. While that's happening, I'm going to chop my mushrooms and set it aside and prepare the custard base. To make the egg custards, of course, we need egg, we need heavy cream, water, some more egg and spices. Here I'm using black pepper, thyme and warm curry spices. Once the egg mixture is ready, it's time to saute our vegetables. I had some pre-chopped leeks, which I'm sauteing in some salt and oil. Two things to remember, every stage needs to be salted and every vegetables needs to be pre-cooked before you prepare your quiche. Once that's done, in the same pan, I'll saute some mushrooms along with salt and oil. Now guess what? This is the perfect time to remove our tart and remove the baked beans from the tart. You have to be careful because the parchment paper is hot, the baked beans are hot. I'm not your doctor, I'm your cook, so be careful guys, okay? Remove each and every bean from the tart and then finally grate the cheese. Here I'm grating Gruyere cheese. I love Gruyere cheese and what Gruyere cheese will do here is make sure that the egg custard does not leak into the bottom of the crust. Place all the vegetables onto the tart pour in the custard and then you'll bake this for about 30 minutes or so. I have a gas oven so it has a mind of its own but I think it took about 30-35 minutes for it to get cooked at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This is a good fall recipe. Butternut squash are in plenty and they taste good during this time of the year. So don't forget to make this and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much for watching. Oh,